welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today i'm going to be doing a room tour of my nail area um yeah so here it is um i've been wanting to film this video for like the past three months but i've never actually gotten around to doing it so here it is i've been working on it for um i i don't really remember i think like i think i started it in september and it's january so um i've had time to get it together and i like i like it a lot i spend a lot of time here sometimes i spend more time here than i do my actual bedroom so yeah it's really nice i really like how everything came so i'm just gonna first show you guys like my decorations and all of that and i'm also gonna show you guys all of the stuff that i have in my um supply drawer since i've been talking about doing that also this is it um this yeah this is the overview i really like how it came out so first on my um of course i have my desk it's from ikea if i remember correctly it's the um adels one i'll leave a link to it if i can find it so here i just have my chair and the other chair um they're really plain um they were like really just the first chairs i saw and i already had in my house um i just put some cushions on them because they get uncomfortable after sitting on them for so long so here i just have my hand rest right here um my led lamp i have a fan because during the summer months it used to get really hot in here but it's i don't really use it right now so um i also have this mirror i found and my candle um here i just have my vacuum and my e-file and my other e-files on the other end because sometimes i just it's i just use two i don't really know um here i have my business cards i just have these in in the back i have my loyalty punch cards and i just put them in this little holder that i made out of clay so yeah that's really it for the desk under i have my trash can but that's not really important um here i have this plant that my mom gave me and up here i have a clog because whenever i'm in here i really just i really get like lost in time so it's useful to have a clog like directly in front of me so i can see what time it is um here i just have some string lights and my logo and some string art up there just for decoration and this um little confetti thing i don't really know what it is but my mom gave it to me um, i have to fix that one piece but um yeah so then here i just have my drawer or whatever where i keep all of my tools like uh here i just keep all of my swatches like these are my colored acrylic swatches and my glitters and stuff and here are all of my polishes and like gel polishes so yeah um here i just keep like my most used supplies like this is a spray bottle full of alcohol um this is my monomer container and my um big monomer um here i just have some paper towels and my practice hand and i have some sanitizer right here i also have this dust brush and some cuticle oil and here is my uh drill bit holder that i also made out of clay so yeah because um i had them all over the place before and i didn't really want to buy one so i just made one um and yeah so here i just have all of my brushes and my pens and stuff like my acrylic brush is somewhere in here i don't really know where it is but um my detail brushes are in here and all of that so yeah i have some sharpies in there too and oh on the floor that's kind of just my storage like a temporary storage area for now because um they don't fit in my drawers and i don't really have anywhere to put them right now so yeah so in my drawers uh the first one is just has glitter in it the second one is where all of my embellishments are and some eyeshadows i'll explain why those are in there when i do like the detailed drawer tour or whatever <laughs> um here are all of my um tools and implements i still have to clean these which is why they look so unorganized right now um here's where i keep my files uh my buffers are in here or these are my personal buffers i have my dust brush here and i have my other my mini buffers that i use on clients here um i have my lint free wipes in here too so yeah that's all that's in that drawer um in this drawer this is um i don't really know what i categorize this as but i have my tips in here that's um i have my sanding bands in here and my forms and i also have uh nail glue and my primer and my dehydrator in here um this drawer is where i keep all of my colored acrylics um these are ones that i bought and these are like all of my custom mixes and yeah the big ones are these big ones are like uh, my basics like these are the this is white um this is clear and this is nude um this one it's uh what do i this one has gloves in it and there's usually masks right here but i'm out so there are none right there um and this one this is kind of like an organized junk drawer but not really i don't really know how to categorize this but 
um here's basically all of my unopened stuff that i still need to put somewhere so i just have my big pack of buffers that i haven't used yet i have these two top coats that i have as replacements that i haven't used yet I have an unopened clear acrylic and the rest of my um, lint-free wipes and also some organization baskets that I haven't used yet. So um, this is my actual junk drawer. Um, this is where I keep all of my unused containers for like colored acrylics. I just have some random bags. Um, like I'm pretty sure, oh, I have some swatch sticks in here. Um, here are the some extra parts from like my actual drawer. Um, in here, what is this? Oh, these are all of my practice nails that I've done. I just keep them in here. I'll show you guys those um, in a second. So um, here's a pump bottle that I that came with one of my um, packages. So yeah, I have these, like the super generic um, sanding bands that came with my drill that I don't really use because I don't really like them. Oops, that fell off. Um, um, <laughs> it's kind of a mess here, but here are all of my polishes. Um, usually all of my like regular polishes are on the outside and my gel polishes are in the inside. It's kind of unorganized, but like I know where everything is. So yeah. Um, and finally in the bottom, see, I can't even open it. Oops. Okay. In the bottom, this is where I just keep all of my liquids. Um, they're just like regular polish liquids that I use. What is this? This is, yeah, these two are just plain remover. Um, this is the soak off that I, this works as a really good brush cleaner. So that's really all I use it for. I don't really use it for soak offs because it doesn't go as quick as like 100% acetone, but it works really good for cleaning your brush. So I use that for that. And yeah. Yeah, that's really all that there is to the drawers. So um, now we're just gonna go ahead. Oh, I forgot this. This is my extension cord power strip um, because I only have one outlet back there. So I just taped this extension power strip. I don't really remember what it's called, but I just taped it to the desk so that I have somewhere to plug in all of my things right next to my seat. So yeah, that's really all there is for the top. So now we're just gonna go ahead and start talking about what's in all of my drawers in detail. So now that you guys have seen like the basic overview of where everything is at, um, we can go ahead and start going through the drawers and I'll show you guys all of my supplies that I use. So starting with the first drawer, you guys saw it already. It was um, just glitters. Okay. Oops, they're dropping everywhere. Um, so here they all are. I can't really tip it over without them. Okay, see they're falling, but um, basically um, I've talked about these in an earlier one of my videos. Um, it was, I'll leave a link to it. So, uh, yeah, a lot of these are from Michaels. The majority of these are from Michaels. And a couple of them are from, like, Dollar Tree and stuff. So, yeah. Oh, I have an idea. So, instead of showing you guys the actual glitters, um, I'll just show you the swatches so you guys can see all of the glitters. So, here are all of my glitters. I have them all swatched in... Is that all? Okay, so... Here are all of my glitters. I'll have a better little, let me see the color. I can't even tell if you can see them all, but here they all are. Um, well, I guess while I'm here, I'll just show you guys my swatches. So, um, here, let me fix the light. So, here are all of my colored acrylics. Okay, okay, there we go. Here are all of my colored acrylics and the glitters next to it. There's nothing in the there's nothing really in the drawers aside from the um glitters so yeah i have this one this one's from a beauty supply store but it's almost empty it's one of my favorite ones it's like this little hollow one i'll have to replace that soon but yeah and i have this super big glitter shaker as well so yeah that's all there is in the first drawer so let's move on to the second drawer okay so in the second drawer is where i keep all of my um like embellishments and like I don't really know what to describe them as, but like, basically like decorations and stuff. So, um, I also have eyeshadow in here, but, um, like I said, I was going to explain. So in here, I just have these rivets. Um, they're in this like hardware container I got from Dollar Tree, so it's not a good container. So they start to mix everywhere. So I'm not going to tilt it a whole bunch, but I have these rivets. I got them from Amazon. Um, if you want to know where I got these, let me know and I'll give you the link to them. So yeah, here I just have these two eyeshadows that are also from Dollar Tree. Um, when I first started out and I didn't have like actual colored acrylics, I used to just like um, mix clear acrylic with um, eyeshadows. So I don't really do it as much anymore, but um, they still come in handy sometimes. So I still have them in there. 
so in the actual basket let's see what do i have here so i just have this rhinestone gel that i got from amazon it's really it's a really good gel it was four dollars if i remember correctly and it's really sticky so it keeps rhinestones on for a really long time so here i just have these gold foils i have this gold one a rose gold a silver and i'm not really sure what this is supposed to be but it has like um like blue parts on it or whatever um here i just have some caviar pearls um here i just have some wax for my wax picker um and here go the actual decoration so here are some clear rhinestones that I've had for a while. I don't really use them anymore because um, I don't like the sizes and they don't stay shiny for long. Um, here I just have some butterflies. Um, I have three kinds of butterflies. These two are the same thing. And here are like the holographic ones. So these are my butterflies. Um, let's see. Here we have some more rhinestones these are my colored rhinestones they also don't um they also don't stay very shiny for long so i don't really use those uh these are also colored i'm not really sure like what they are but they have like these pretty ab parts in the center and then like the rest of it's colored so i might end up using those eventually um here are my ab rhinestones these are probably my favorite they're like big and like the chunky rhinestones i've used them in a couple of sets which you can find pictures of on my instagram which as always, I'll leave linked in the description. And here are my smaller AB rhinestones. Um, like I, um, I can't afford Swarovski crystals right now, so I just have to do with the plastic ones, and they work really well. They stay shiny for a pretty long time. So here I just have some gold like charms or whatever, and here I just have some dried flowers. I have these kinds of flowers. Um, I forgot what they're called, but I have these the corn flowers and these big petals. So yeah, that's all that there is in my embellishment drawer. So we can go ahead and move on to the third drawer, which I, which is in, what is that? The third drawer has, um, I forget the word, uh, implements in my tools and stuff. One, this first basket with my implements in it, and the second one with all of my other stuff, like I just showed you guys. So um, in this drawer, I have my tip cutter, um, these, that was loud. Um, these two pairs of angled tweezers that came with um, like my embellishments and stuff. Oh, and I have another one right here that's unopened. Um, here I just have one of my cuticle cutters, which I don't really use for cuticles. I use it for like nipping off long nails. Um, here's my actual cuticle nipper because it's sharper. Um, and I just have these two pairs of clippers. I used to have a lot of clippers in here, but um, I narrowed it down to these two because these are my straight edge clippers and these are the curved ones and they're the sharpest ones I have, so I like these the most. Um, here I just have my cuticle, this is my cuticle pusher, and like, it has like other pieces that like, tools that come with it. I don't really know their exact purpose, but they, they're handy, so. Um, here I just have two pairs of tweezers, like normal tweezers, and I use this to pick up rhinestones sometimes, and this is like this super tiny, um, cuticle pusher that I like, started using when i first started doing nails so i don't really need to push cuticles anymore but i do use it to like stir um like acrylic mixes and stuff so yeah that's all i have for my implements and for this drawer which is i mean for this basket this is like all of the other stuff so here i just have my personal buffers that i use on myself this one too um and here are my nail files these are my favorite this is my personal one but these are my favorite files they're the kiss wideboard grinders they work really well like they're super sharp and they're like not bendy at all like they don't bend very easily so yeah i have this dust i have this dust brush that i got from uh dollar tree i think um so yeah in the smaller basket i just have these lint free wipes that i use to clean off the tacky layer with gel polish and stuff and I have these mini buffers that I use on clients because they like they're only one time use, so it's I feel less wasteful when I use those. So yeah, so that's all I have in this third drawer. That's all I have for that drawer. So my fourth drawer is um tips and basically like a bunch of preparation stuff. So I have these BT art um box. Oh, it's upside down. But these BT art box tips that I got um not too long ago, but they're like um almost coffin shape but not like super a super strong coffin so that helps like to reduce time if i'm already gonna do a coffin shape and they're clear um here are my other tips these are like my square tips um i have the natural color and the clear color 
So yeah, those are my tips. I'll leave the link to those as well if you want them. Um, here I just have my primer and my dehydrator and my nail glue, which I already showed you guys. Um, here I have my nail forms. I've had these for about a year now because they came with a lot and I didn't really start using forms until like September. So uh, they 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 haven't really like moved a lot. So here are my sanding bands. This one came with my original e-file and they're like 80 grit and I don't ever have a use for a grit that rough. So they've been here for a while. Um, here are my 180, or what is? Yeah, this is my 180 grit sanding bands, which I use for prep. So yeah, that's all that's in that drawer. Um, my fourth drawer is all of my colored acrylics. I've kind of already showed you guys them and I don't really want to pull them all out again. So that's in my sixth drawer, which is the gloves, which I already showed you guys. Um, here's my seventh drawer. Let's see what's in here. So first I have these lint free wipes. Is it upside down? No. Uh, these are my lint free wipes. I got them from Amazon. I'll leave a link to them as well if you want them because they work really nicely, um, to get the tacky layer off without leaving like fuzz all over the nail. Um, here are my baskets. I got these from Dollar Tree as well as like all the other baskets except for the except for the blue one. All the other baskets in there are from Dollar Tree. So um here is my model one's clear acrylic. It's unopened because I was running out of the other one and it was on sale, so I bought it just in case. <laughs> um here I have my extra lavender violets top coats because I was running out of the top coat and since they come in a set I just have these the base coat and the matte top coat um sitting in here. So here is my extra, my pack of extra buffers. Um, it's still full, so I leave it in that drawer. So yeah, that's all that's in the seventh drawer. In the eighth drawer, um, it's the containers and stuff that I already showed you guys. Oops. And my last drawer is just, or no, my second to last drawer is just polishes. Um, I'm not pulling all of them out, so you guys can just look at the swatch sticks that I have. So, all of these are my gel polishes. These are all my gel polishes. I don't have a whole lot, but I do like working with color acrylic more, so I have more of those. So, here are all of these. Um, these are all from the Averitt collection that I do have a review on, so I'll also link that video. Um, so yeah, these are all of those. And here are all of my regular polishes, which I don't really use that often anymore, but I do use them for like nail art. So I have all of these here. I have a lot of them in regular polish. So yeah, that's all of my regular polishes. And in the bottom drawer, I've already showed you guys the liquid. So yeah. So yeah, that's more or less all of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know if you have any questions about where I got anything from. And if I don't already have the link to it in the description, just leave a comment and I'll leave a link for you. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, check out my Instagram if you want to see like extra nail pictures that I don't have featured here. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.